So you're thinking about moving to Newport, Rhode Island? Well, in today's video, my team and I are gonna feature the Fifth Ward neighborhood here in Newport, Rhode Island. Let's get started. So if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living in Rhode Island, subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Rhode Island. My name is Devin and my team and I, we get calls and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Rhode Island and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make a smooth transition here to the Ocean State. In today's video, we are featuring the Fifth Ward neighborhood here in Newport, Rhode Island. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I am gonna share with you one of my favorite restaurants, and it is a biased opinion, that has the best steak here in Newport. So make sure you stick around to the end. So right now, we're currently in the Fifth Ward neighborhood. Now, what defines the Fifth Ward neighborhood is gonna be Wellington Ave, to Ruggles Ave, Spring Street to Haldon Ave. So that is what's gonna make up the Fifth Ward neighborhood. Now, the reason why people like the Fifth Ward is because as we walk through here, it's very walkable to downtown. You're, you're sitting right at the end of Thames Street. So it's walkable to all of the shopping, all of the restaurants, all of the dining. Some of the restaurants to make sure have on your list is Vieste, also Scales and Shells and Zelda's. You also have Bodhi Spa, that's in really close proximity to walking distance from you here in the Fifth Ward. And you have Fifth Ward liquor. So everything you need is gonna be right here in the Fifth Ward. It really acts as its own community. Also, there's a few parks that are very popular that you can walk to. You also have Morton Park, you have Kings Park and Spencer Park. So Morton Park is gonna be great for the kids because they have a swing set there. And then in the summer, you'll find people playing volleyball outside in that park. Kings Park, that's a really, really popular park here in Newport, especially in the summertime and during 4th of July. In the summer, they have live music every single week outside on the lawn. So you can grab the kids, pack up some chairs and go listen to some live music. And you have really, really special views of the Newport Bridge as well as Sunset. So those are some of the really popular parks here in the Fifth Ward. Some also things to note as we're walking through, wanna make sure I don't hit anything. Some other things to note is the Fifth Ward is really comprised of a, a few different type of, of properties, right? So you have rental properties, you have summer properties, second homes, and you have primary residence. So the Fifth Ward area is gonna be comprised of a multitude of different type of living styles. So you're gonna to wanna to keep that in mind, especially Salve does rent over there, and a lot of people do rent over there in the summertime. So it is gonna be, let's cross the street here. So it is gonna be a busy area in the summer. So if you don't like noise, or if you, don't want, if you want more peace and quiet, the Fifth Ward may not be the neighborhood for you. Now, living in the Fifth Ward gives you a lot of easy access out to the other end of Newport. So you're gonna be able to easily access Ocean Drive, uh, Brenton State Park, Fort Adams, Castle Hill, one of my favorite places to eat. Ocean Cliff, I got married out there. So you have easy access to that side of town. The negative though, is that if you are living in the Fifth Ward and you're coming from Boston, or if you're coming from Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, one thing to keep in mind is that the Fifth Ward is on the other end of Thames Street. So getting this way in the summertime, you're gonna hit a lot of congestion, you're gonna hit a lot of traffic. So it's gonna be difficult to, for you to be able to leave town uh, in a convenient matter in the essence of, or in the time manner, just because you're gonna be hitting so much, so much traffic. Over here, as you see, the houses are gonna be right on top of each other. The lots aren't gonna be as large as some of the other neighborhoods in here. So you gotta keep that in mind. Also, depending on where you buy in, in the Fifth Ward, you may have flood insurance if you're getting a mortgage. So keep that in mind that the Fifth Ward may require flood insurance depending on what street and what area you buy. My team and I are gonna take you on a tour through the neighborhood so you can see what life would be like living here in the Fifth Ward. So right now we're standing on Harborview Drive just off of Wellington Ave. The property to my left featured behind me is on the market right now for $6 million. It's a four bed, four and a half bath and just sits at 3,675 square feet. Now what I wanna show you is I wanna show you the proximity to Wellington Ave and Kings Park. So why don't we walk this way and follow me. 
So this will give you guys a really good feel of Wellington Ave and also the location we're in. So as you can see behind me, this is Kings Park. So imagine in the summertime, you have, you have a band playing right underneath that pavilion, that white pavilion. It's live music and everybody is all packed here. You also have a baseball field where the kids can run around. And like I mentioned before, you can see the Newport Bridge in the distance. You have incredible sunsets and incredible views of the Newport Bridge. Also right around the corner, you're gonna have Ida Lewis Yacht Club and New York Yacht Club. So this is a premier location here in the Fifth Ward. Let's head to the next property and drive you through this beautiful neighborhood. So here we are on Simmons Street. This is the second property we'll be featuring today. This is a three bed, three bath, and sits just above 1,400 square feet and is currently on the market for 799,000. Now here on Simmons Street, Thames Street is gonna be about 50 yards to my right and your left. And then also at the end of Simmons Street, you're gonna have Spencer Park. Spencer's Park, what, I, what you'll find is you'll find a lot of people walking their dogs during the morning, the evening, the afternoon, and it's an easy walk to some of the restaurants I mentioned earlier in the video. Wellington Ave is gonna be directly behind you, so let's take you on through this neighborhood to give you the best feel of what life is like over here. Come on. So the third property we're featuring today is here on Connection Street. This is kind of on the back end of Fifth Ward. Uh, this is a three bed, two bath, currently on the market uh, for 749,000 and just over a thousand square feet. And what you'll notice as we kind of walk through the street, it's nice about this property is it does have parking. But as we walk through these streets here on Connection Street, you'll see a lot of different renovations happening. Again, what people like about this area is everything's walkable. What's nice about Connection Street is it's a dead end, so you don't have to have any through traffic. So as we drive this neighborhood, you'll get a really good feel of this area. Area. Make sure to follow me as we walk through. So as promised, for those that made it to the end of the video, I told you I would give you a little secret of my favorite place to grab a steak here in Newport, Rhode Island, and that's Thames Street Kitchen, also known as TSK. I think they have one of the best steaks here in Newport, maybe all of Rhode Island. They offer a ribeye on their menu, and usually it's not on the menu, you gotta ask for it. It's one of my favorite places to come and eat. In the summertime, you'll have people dining outside. There's also some bar stool seats you can sit right outside and grab a drink. Now, for any of you who buy a house from me, I will buy you a steak from TSK. Thanks for joining me today on our tour of Fifth Ward. If you're looking for more information on that neighborhood or surrounding areas in Rhode Island, all of my contact information is in the description below.